welcome to Wednesday. Today is a crazy mixed up day. Would you believe that there are no kids in the kitchen with me? Yeah. Would you believe that we have four horses? We have four riders and four horses. And we have no horses that we can ride today. We cannot ride a single horse today. I don't think that's ever happened before. No, I brought, oh yeah, three riders, four horses. Sorry, thanks Gabby for telling me that. Why can't we ride our horses today? Because shots. Because shots. Sophie, why can't you ride your horse today? Shots. shots. And then my horse, if you miss it, she got kicked in the shin. She got kicked in the shin. She either fell and banged it on something hard, which is unlikely because their entire pasture is just soft dirt right now. And so yeah, chances are a little pony or a little mini gave her a little kick. I am making some breakfast sandwiches for breakfast to feed my lovely family before we start this day. Okay, this is my question. Why do bubbles have rainbow? This one's clear, but the other ones have rainbow. And my question to you is why are you blowing bubbles around cooking it's food? It's the light. It's Ooh. the light reflecting off of it. The light. Is that a good enough answer? Yes. Yeah. Before we do anything else today, we're going to draw the winner for the Kunkel riding gloves if you guys you guys know that we've been holding a contest uh with kunkel show gloves and on instagram and we're gonna pick a winner right now i'm gonna let gabby do it all right so we did the giveaway i made a little video to post on instagram oh, but holy heck it, i'm awkward in the morning i mean i'm awkward oh sometimes all the she time messing up. yeah i had to like start again so it made it look like gabby didn't scroll we're trying to make it as fair as possible gabby just scrolled it through and stopped and picked one she scrolled up she scrolled down she scrolled all around closed her eyes picked one all right uh so so go ahead over to our instagram page if you entered and see if you are the winner so if any of you guys are looking to get a pair of riding gloves for this this season and you are interested in uh the pair in the kunkel gloves that gabby and sophie showed in this past weekend that did prove to be a very lucky glove. Kunkel has given us a code day by day so that you guys could get the same gloves that Gabby and Sophie have if you're interested. If you click the link in the description box, it'll take you to where you can enter the code and get them for a reduced cost. The girls are doing school. Sam is home today, which was fabulous because he was able to do chores and let the girls out. And it's not that I don't like doing chores, I love doing chores. It's that I have so much to do inside as well that doing both is really, really hard to try and get everything finished. And so the days that I get to stay home in the morning and get all the inside stuff done are just such a blessing to me. It is Easter weekend and now that the show is finished, I can really start to concentrate on Easter um, because it's a holiday and we still have COVID going around and not everybody is um, immunized yet. Our government just put down new restrictions. So, so we are going back to a similar lockdown to after Christmas so we're only allowed five people at uh, our hat like we're only allowed five people inside five people outside which means that we won't be having all of our family over for Easter but that's okay we're gonna have a big get-together after this happens so that we can spend time with them I'm really excited to see all my grandkids and bring Jacob in Brooklyn and have a sleepover with them they're dying to do 24-hour video and we're dying to do a 24-hour video it's supposed to rain and be yucky today so Sam and I are taking advantage of this day to go and get all the things that we need before the holiday stuff happens we need more food for Trixie more crickets and grain for the horses and so we're gonna go and we're gonna do that stuff now and then we'll be back all right so I'm here now with Gabby after getting all of our uh, other stuff done and we're doing we're doing Easter shopping a little bit of Easter shopping for the grandkids so I like this stuff for what is this is it a, uh, dish, dishwasher like this stuff, you guys know we bought Jack a kitchen for his birthday and he loves it but I think I want to move on from kitchen stuff Gabby likes this I like this and Gabby likes this dinosaur thing up here. The problem is I don't want to buy like a bunch of toys because they get toys from their parents and from other grandparents. I like to buy them clothes and stuff that they need for Easter. What are you cooking, Gabby? I'm seeing if it actually dings. Okay. If it actually dings? I wonder if Jacob would like some Lego. I know Brooklyn likes it. And this is only for four up. So oh, messy as it looks, this is all the Easter stuff. Got these bags for Jacob and Brooklyn and then inside and then inside here I have these smaller bags 
for the babies, for baby Jack and baby Aria. I'll show you guys what I got them before I give them to them because I like to see stuff. Like, I love stuff, you guys. Whenever I talk to somebody, like some of you guys, sometimes you'll message me and you'll be like, oh, I got blah, 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 and then you show me and I'm like obsessed. I love looking at stuff. So just in case you guys are interested, I'll definitely show you uh, how Easter is gonna work for us is that my one set of grandkids are going to be here and just stop by and I'm gonna see them outside. Sam and I will see them and because we don't wanna go over the five people rule so we'll see them outside sometime over the weekend and I'll give them their present and then we'll have a dinner when COVID restrictions ease again as awful as it is I definitely know there will be time to see them so just gotta focus on the positives right we're headed down to the barn you can almost see some green happening you guys you see it there's green a little tiny bit is cantering to the barn. Huh? Hi, Penny Pickle. Oh, that lump on her leg be looking rough. It is cold out here. Breathing. It is eight degrees in the barn. Eight degrees is warmer outside. Oh, I come back. So Sam was down this morning and cold hosed my Penny girl's leg for me. Can you guys see it? I don't know if I can yeah. see it. Huh. Big uh oh, I need some. Can you give me a piece of that? <laughs> Yeah, that's a two-headed carrot. And you have two noses looking for it. Give me a piece so I can keep her. No, okay. Okay, Penny. I just want to see your foot. So Sam cold hosed her leg this morning. If you guys missed yesterday's video, then you might not know that she... Oh, there's no heat. But what a bump. Did you guys see it? Yeah, right there. Hold on, I have no treats. Hold on, I just want to see your your leg. Penny pickle. All right, well, there's no heat anymore. Holy moly. Again, again, Gracie. Yeah. Sophie's working on laying our pony down. Because she wants to win. I told them that whoever gets their pony laying down first. Done. Get in there, puppy. Whoever gets their pony laying down first is going to win the course because we're pretty much done with the course until probably in the fall when we have more time except for a little bit of trick training we spent a lot of time today trying to get all the stuff i needed to do for easter we weren't vlogging too much just trying to get everything done so yesterday when we were waiting for the vet we got an opportunity to play with our horses a lot more in the arena and i saved some of that footage and i'm going to show you guys now the girls were riding their horses bareback even Sophie got super brave and I'll share that footage with you guys all right we've decided to do a bareback parade of ponies yeah. I actually have to hold on to Chino Chino actually is starting to like do what Storm did and lay claim stake claim to Gabby come on Chino let's go watch your girl we're still waiting for the vet you guys <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong Okay, so not only did she, like, oh, what the heck just happened? I think, so this is what I think I think that when you mess up a horse's routine after they've gotten into a habit then it messes up their habit. So she just sidled him up there, he had no saddle on, so he was like, yeah, I'll stand there, there's no big deal. No bit, no nothing, and she just hopped right on that boy. <laughs> this is impressive. I, I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations, oh. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. So mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you You take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you You're making me wanna try forever It's awesome Gabby's gonna jump on horse number two Alright, Gabby's gonna canter first 
Yeah, and back, bear back, are you gonna do a trot? Oh, come on. I'll try two steps. Okay, two yeah. steps. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. So stuck, I kept on playing my part. Wanted to give up because nothing was changing. But with you, it's so clear. And now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Um, there you go. That's the best way to do it. That's the best way to learn. His trot is smoother than his walk. All right, let me see you do some more. Guess I finally learned my lesson. Cause you. All the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah. Gabby said she might fall off. This might be it, you guys. She might fall off for the first time. Gabby is tall, tall again. Is this your first time ever riding in bareback? No, I've jumped in bareback. Oh, she's jumped in bareback. All right, so we got news. Vet is on the way. I guess he had a rough morning. Happens, happens to the best of us. You're bouncing so much. We're all watching. Storm's behind me. He's like, oh, thank God it's his turn. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free, oh my sweet baby. And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time. And I know it so well, I will always be by your side. Whoa, that's not something I want to do. Stop with him when he stops like that. Yeah, I guess you do. Gabby, do you think I'd be able to ride Storm? Yeah. I agree. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. Feel so free, I'm oh a sweet baby. Cause you <laughs> he puts his head down. I don't know where his withers are. Just don't do any lead changes. For the rest of our time, and I know it so well, I will always be by your side. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Fun? He's smaller than Finn. Or it's just because he's slower. And I don't really have to hold him back. I have to like this. And I'm just worried about staying on. And last one. Sophie, are you trying uh, Chino? See how Finn moves when he walks? He's like a worm. Like you can never predict where his body's going next. Are you cantering him? Huh? Come on.
Come on. All my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby My favorite things ever is to shed the ponies. It's like nature's fidget toy. I love it. Anyway, that is it for today. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Penny Pickle, can you guys see her? She is staring. Oh, there is one other thing I wanted to say. She wants supper. Yeah, she wants supper. She's like, get me my supper. But I wanted to tell you guys about <clears throat> when I was editing the video yesterday of us waiting in the barn. I don't have any treats, Penny. I do. I was watching Storm and I was watching Chino and I could see Storm was, was wanting Gabby to just love him the way that she's always loved him. And it just be Storm and Gabby. Like I felt so teary watching the video because there were a couple of times when we were in the barn yesterday where she was hugging on him and kissing him and she went to step away and he leaned into her as if to say, don't go. And then when Gabby was playing with Chino, Storm, looked sad and he just was standing there walked up and was watching them it was so emotional like sometimes you don't notice things that are happening as they're happening but then later when i watch the video back i see such a bigger picture and it was really powerful to see that i think storm would love just to have that old gabby back i think i think what he wants is an eight to eleven year old girl that that doesn't know too much and that just wants to play around on him. And I've always felt that and I've always believed that. I feel like he wants her to be different and I feel like she wants him to be different. I also wanna say that there was a time when everybody did not believe in Storm and Gabby. When Gabby first got Storm, they all said that we were hurting him. People said that it was a terrible situation, that she was riding him terrible, that he was in pain, that he was hurt. Everybody said so many things to the point where I even contemplated, contemplated ending our channel way back then. And, and she persevered and they worked together and they got better and they learned each other and now they know each other like the back of each other's hand. Like they are so good together. Oops. And the same thing is happening with Finn and Sophie. We just gotta give it time. I feel like when horses, the first year it takes before you love each other. I think it takes horses a year before they love you unconditionally. I believe it. And then I think you spend the next year learning each other. And then I feel like you spend the third year together perfecting each other. I feel like that's where Gabby and Storm are now. They're at this perfect sweet spot where they know each other and they understand each other. And I feel like Sophie's at the beginning of that stage. I feel like this next year for Sophie and Finn is gonna be incredible. But anyways, that is it for today's video because Penny Pickle wants to go in and have her breakfast. You wanna go in? Like, She's like, just give me treats. Dinner, not breakfast? Her, not her breakfast, her dinner. I'm worried about that lump on her leg though. Um, anyway, that is it, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?